In this video help file we're going to look at some animation techniques, how to animate sprites in Scratch 3. So first of all let's have a look. Probably the easiest way is to just uh, uh, choose a sprite uh, that's already made that will have often have a few costumes. Here's one we've done earlier, the ballerina and if you go and look in costumes up in the top left here you'll see they've all started to appear on the left here. So of course I can refer to these using code blocks and I could make her do this very simple ballet move here. Okay, I could have her doing that quite a few times either in a sequence or using repetition. So that's the easiest way to do animation in uh, Scratch. Um, another method is where we've got something like a ball that we've imported here. And because this is a pre-made sprite, it's going to appear uh, straight away in the middle. Okay, so um, what I can do here is I want to use that yellow ball. So I'm going to delete a few of the other pictures here, see so the other costumes and just have that one. Um, I find it's a really good idea to rename what I'm going to do. So I'm going to call it uh, ball. Uh, or actually, let's just call it bouncing. Okay, bouncing, and I'm going to call it bouncy one here. Okay, um, so if I now click off that, you see it's now become bouncy one. And all I do here is I'm just going to uh, duplicate the costume. So I've got a ball bouncing two or a bouncing two. And I'm going to literally just drag a box over the whole of the ball and just drag it down a little bit. Okay, now if I run between these two costumes, can you see ball bouncing one and bouncing two will make it look like it's bouncing. Uh, in older versions of Scratch you would have a centering uh, cross, but that seems to have gone at the moment. So there we go, you can still do that like that. Um, another more complex way of um, adjusting a picture is let's go and have a look at the Avery character here. Say I want to make Avery nod. Okay, or actually let's just make a wave her arm here. So I'm going to get rid of the other costume because it doesn't show her arm. Uh, and I'm going to also give it a name because I think it's a good idea to rename what you're going to do. So I'm going to call this wave. Okay. Um, or we could call that wave one since we're going to have a few wave ones. Okay, I'm going to zoom right in using this little plus sign here so we can just see that hand Okay, there we go. And one of the really good features in this version of Scratch, um, you're just about to see. And it's um, so I'm first of all, before I do that, let's right click and duplicate. So I've got a second costume. And what you can do in the new version of Scratch is you can drag over this and it will just allow you to select a part of the picture. Now, this only works for pre made sprites. So now I can use this little. Uh, can you see the little rotate uh, double headed arrow at the bottom and I can pick the whole thing up and I can carefully put it back in her arm socket there and can you see now I've got these two and of course I could make a, a wave a little bit more or a little bit less uh, I think that's a fantastic new um, um, feature for scratch so now wave one and wave two so there we go there are some methods of animation in scratch three 